Hi everyone, welcome to this week's Beyond the School Run video blog. I am very excited and extremely honoured to be here with Anne-Marie Slaughter, um, who has been a huge inspiration to me and my work um, since launching Beyond the School Run. So, um, and I'm sure many of you out there know Anne-Marie Slaughter, so welcome to Anne Marie Slaughter today. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Um, so, I just wanted to talk to you today and share with the community, for those of you who haven't, I know many of you have, have read Anne-Marie Slaughter's book, Unfinished Business. Um, I just wanted to take an opportunity just to share the book with you and some of the ideas um, behind it. Um, so, um, Anne-Marie, could I just ask you, um, I loved when I was reading it, the, really the concept of starting to discuss about combination of caring and breadwinning, and introducing that into our lives, um, both as men and as women, and how this will benefit us um, throughout our kind of lifespan. Um, could you share a little bit more, more with us about the kind of thinking behind that, please? Sure. So, uh, you know, when I think about it, all of us have a caring side and a more competitive side. And, and the, the women's movement has been about liberating the competitive side of women, right? We were the nurturers and we were not supposed to be competitive and we were not supposed to want to earn a living. We were supposed to want to raise children. Well, actually, we want both, right? That's the whole tension has been, yes, we want, I want to be a foreign policy expert, but I also want to be a mother, I want to be a daughter, I want to be a sister and a wife. So we need to recover that side of ourselves, and we need to value that work, but not just for us, but for men too, so that it's not, you know, it's all about work and you sort of fit kids in around that and balance it and juggle it. It's, wait a minute, that's a really important part of life. Being with your parents as they age is a very important part of life. It makes us whole people. It makes us happier people. And actually, we need to, to elevate that for men too. Yeah, that's really important. It's, common, it's looking at men and women exactly. in this for everyone and for, for our well being. And on that point of well being, I was just thinking as well actually, you really talk about also, which I think is really interesting, there's a lot of work around this, is actually not just caring for others, but part of this journey is caring for ourselves. So, really spending this time to really sort of declutter our lives to start really caring for ourselves, which means we are better catered to care for others and to work and develop our passions and our skills. Um, could you touch on that as well, actually, Absolutely. which I think is, is really but it's still good. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, well, you know, every well, a lot of parents, not just women, parents say when you have children, suddenly what's important, you know, becomes very clear. Like you become more efficient, lots of things sort of fall away. And I do think it's a time, particularly when you're embarking on shaping, you know, children and raising them to adults, to figure out what's most important and to think about you know, your priorities, and I do think that caring for yourself, whether that's exercise, whether for me it's reading novels and giving myself the space, to, it, it's my meditation, um, it is a key part of, of, of caring for others. I think that's yeah. exactly right, that if you're unhappy, you can't give care well. Yeah. Uh, and so often we miss that, right? So often we think, well, I just got to cram it all in. But if you're stressed and you're miserable, yeah. you're not, you're going to be communicating that, not yeah. only at work, but also at home. Yeah. And as women, I think the story to date has been very much about you just get on and you push through. And actually now I think what we're recognizing is this importance of take, putting this time in is you get, you get so much back as well. Yeah. I think it's such an important part of the book and a lot of the work that's going on. Um, and finally, my last question for you was, it, for all of the people in the community of Beyond the School Run who are combining caring and um, caring for their children and um, unlocking their skills or working, would you have any just a few tips or advice as to how to continue down that path? I know your work really inspired me whilst I was doing exactly that in developing Beyond the School Run. Um, so any um, words of advice for any um, parents that are combining the two and finding they're quite unique in the world at the moment. But I think when in, a, in, in time when the working world changes, they won't be. So, um, so you know, in the book I write out that I say, don't drop out, defer. Meaning, you know, if you're in a job, don't drop out completely. Find a way to pursue some set of skills. If you don't have to stay in that job, you may decide, okay, I've advanced to this point in this job, but now I want to get fundraising skills or public speaking skills or writing skills. So think about the arc of your career and think about how you can continue to develop skills that will be marketable, but more importantly, that just 
keep you growing as a, as a person while you are parenting. And think about, you can do that on a volunteer basis, you can do that on a project basis, you can do that on working differently, maybe if you're a current employer or working for someone else. But it's not, it shouldn't be a break, right? It should be, this is the next phase of my life in which I'm caring more and competing less, as I sort of think about it. But don't don't make it don't fall off the cliff right and that's why i like being on the school run this idea that the school runs a big part of your life but what do you do before the school run right? yeah you know what, what, yeah. Do you, what are you doing with those parts of your life uh when kids are not demanding you? yeah and in that time you can do so much just finding the right things to do that are right for you yeah. and being authentic to yourself um it is such an honor and you have inspired so many of us in our work so um thank you so thank much you. and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks.